Denver Nuggets uh -huh. NBA Finals is upon us. It's happening on Thursday, the game one tomorrow. Okay, they're taking on the Miami Heat, and uh, we're gonna preview the, um, the 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 series at the end of the show. But for right now, what I wanted to quickly talk about is the the the, the conversation is shifting and changing, as you could kind of know that it's going to happen when you have a player on Jokic's level. And uh, now the talk is is he. he He's the best player in the NBA. And uh, that's the new trending thing to say. Right. And I, I don't like I, – I, it's not about me being an NBA guy, all right, because Jokic is here. He's in the finals. You know, that's fine. If if, if, if you believe he's better than NBA, that's fine. But I don't like how – like, you, you can't just easily become the best player in the NBA just because you're the new guy in the finals. That, that that never happened before. Like when 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 like LeBron wasn't um that may be a bad comparison because he was making the finals a lot. <laughs> he was making the finals a lot. But he was even when he was losing the finals, he didn't lose his best player in the world tag. Like when he lost against the Spurs in Miami, you know, he was still the best player in the world. He didn't lose that. You know, well, um, LeBron was different because he he definitively held it down for many years. For many years, for many and, years. And you are literally, if not the greatest player of all time, top two, top three, any way you want to cut it. Yeah. Um, so, so that's a special a good case. Example. That's not a good example. That's um, why I didn't use him. I but, noticed I didn't use yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Because what happens to Giannis? One one off year, and Giannis is all this. He's he's well, chopped liver now. Say it's it's a couple of off years. They went out last year. As well, um, you know, didn't reach the finals, didn't didn't back to back title. Um, again, look at the the Jokic resume. I mean, he was back to back MVP. Then this year, leads his team damn near wire to wire number one in the West, and his march to the final. He didn't get the MVP over Embiid, and it was a debate all year that, hey, you know, do we really want to celebrate this guy like he's an all-time great with potentially three back-to-back -back MVP awards? Yeah, he was there, whatever, strongly in the but mix. But what he's giving you is the F you. You should have done it. That's yeah. what he's giving us right yeah. now. He's doing everything you want to do. He enters this finals as a strong favorite to win the final. And then we have a guy who now has – Back-to-back -back MVPs, second-place MVP, but F you, I just won the title. Like, yeah, he, but what did, what would that have that Giannis is don't? Giannis don't. What the, the Giannis had what back-to-back -back MVPs and and won a title. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, no, but but, like, but, but so. okay, but but at the very least, it literally puts those guys on the same plane. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, and, yes, you know, and, and now, but, but, now you're splitting hairs. And like, I guess, I, I guess, like I'm that? asking what constitutes like what what constitutes you stripping it from Giannis and giving it to Jokic? Because then what happens? Because because I don't know. Are those guys going to feel silly if Giannis if next year Denver goes out in the first or second round and Giannis makes it to the finals? I mean, and then what? You give it back to Giannis? Like, well, but, I, but, I don't what, know if it's you just going to. What is the nature of the best player in the world? The title. Yeah. The title is won and earned on an annual basis. Right. I, I don't. Why, I don't think that not, constitutes best. Why player in the not world. the best player in the world? Why can't that fluctuate? Because it yet? never has. It has, I think. No. Now, well, people, people who have been the best player in the world: LeBron, Michael Jordan, or most recently, we'll go LeBron. Well, I, We'll go KD had it for about two years. Yeah, but okay. During here, the Warriors here, stretch. Here's the point, I, and I think this is the thing. We can look at this another way. We can look at this and say that we had Michael Jordan, the best player from the early X 90s to, X, to, to, time, to 98. Yeah. yeah. And then we really, there was a void. There was a void. And um, then. And, and, and got, I guess you had Kobe, Shaq. Yeah, you could kind of pick void. your guy you there. Kind of, but nobody yeah. was definitively Nobody that. was definitive. And then we entered the LeBron era. And it was definitively him. Yeah. And I think the problem is, is that we look at those two eras and those two performers and say, this is what the best player is supposed to be. This guy that dominates for a clear stretch of time. And, you know, maybe, in, you know, like a Katie, maybe we kind of slide it that yeah, way or whatever. Or whatever. Yeah. But the reality is you can make a valid argument for, for Michael Jordan. You can make a valid argument for LeBron that they literally could have won the MVP every year every of their year, prime. During that stretch, yeah, yeah. We are not in that era anymore. LeBron is a lion in winter. Yeah. And now we're in an era that, that's just more realistic in that this thing shifts around. 
mm-hmm. based on your present form and your present accomplishments. But do you have to win a title to be? I don't I, well, like. Well, I don't like that. To be like, okay, whoever wins the title, the best player on that team is going to be the best player in the world. That doesn't that's, make a lot of sense to me. That's okay, but but and that's why when I made the comment, I kind of made it broader than that. I didn't make it as simply the best. Like, okay, so fair fair enough. I would make this point: if the Heat win the title, I'm not declaring Jimmy Butler the best player in the world because yeah, because either, that right. that's a little different. But what if what he I'm says saying, it? If he says it, then I mean he can say it, but it's not. I'm not feeling it. Okay. But what I'm saying with Jokic, with what he's accomplished over this three year window of time, and it wasn't like he was garbage before that. Right. Like he's literally doing everything you want a guy to do. And and we have to stand there and recognize it. Okay, you were in, you were on MVP on a team that doesn't go anywhere in the playoffs. Oh, you repeated the MVP, but you still didn't go anywhere in the playoffs. Here's the here's what we need from you, and the dude's delivering it. You cannot take this away. No, you from can't. Me. No, no, I can't take and, it away. And and, can't take and, it away. And, and in this moment, if they win this, and even if they don't, like right now, that nobody has a better claim to being the best player on the planet right now. Not a you, better claim. That's no, my point. Not a better claim. Exactly. Yeah. And I- I- if nothing more, that that's where we are. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, shout out to Ebony. Hello, fellas. What's going on? Chuck says, what if he wins it all? Will he be the best then? And I think we're, I, I, I think nobody has a better. Yeah, claim. nobody has a better claim. And, and if he if he if he stands on the podium with the championship trophy and says I'm the best player in the world, that, that, no, nobody's got a good argument against it. And I guess. It took Giannis to win it before I, like, okay, yeah, he's the best player in the world. And I guess it is the same. It's just he was – Giannis was – Giannis was – it was transitioning from LeBron to, okay, who is going to – and then it just happened to be Giannis. Yeah. Right? But it just feels different because it's Jokic taking away from Giannis. It's like, well, what has Giannis really done to lose it? All he had was an unsuccessful – Season and and, right. and then if you ask Giannis, it it, it wasn't unsuccessful. <laughs> you know what I mean? It wasn't a yeah, disappointment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is the exact words. No, but but you so know. I I don't know. It's like okay, do we wait and see? I think okay. Can you follow this up next? How do you follow it up next season? I, I guess is my and and my my, my thing about it is that the best player in the world can be transitioned smoother than I think you want it to be. Yeah, yeah. And that's, and, and, that's, and, and, that's and so, like, you know, here's the deal. Giannis has a redemption campaign where he's 30, 12, and 7, and uh, they're number one in the East, and, and they, you know, went, went through and run a title. I'm not going to have a problem we'll, we'll saying revisit. this is the best player in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll revisit. You know, it is what it is. And, again, you, we can't be prisoners of the past. Like, it is a bit of what are you doing for me right, right now? now. Yeah, you know, and, and Giannis again, you know, in this particular playoffs, he didn't look. Oh, he, great. he got he got yeah. he got injured, which okay. He didn't come back super quick. He missed a bunch of free throws. He, you know, I mean, again, I I will not question the heart of that guy, but you know, there there was some things he didn't he didn't look comfortable shooting any jump shots in the series, and he refused to disobey coach's orders and guard Jimmy. <laughs> so these are all you know hits on your resume. Uh, shout out to Kobe saying, uh, pray for Bam. Jokic is about to send us back to pre-civil rights. <laughs> Ooh, I wasn't going to go there. <laughs> well, what he's about to do to Bam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, shout out to Coach saying, what's up, family? What's going Bam, on, Coach? Bam's a tough watch when you need a basket. Oh, man. It's just tough. It's, it's, he's it's, just got no it, It's so mechanical, yeah. but it's like, it's, 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 yeah, I don't know. He has no comfortable moves in the post to go to. Yeah. Even against a smaller man. And it's just super uncomfortable to watch. Yeah. Um, yeah. And he's not a large man himself. Like, he's going to be yeah. outsized, outskilled. Oh, 100%. I don't know yeah. what. Uh, but but even like a couple times in the Celtics, Spoh was really going switches to help and out. stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he Marcus ended up Smart on smaller guys, on, yeah, and yeah, yeah. he didn't look like he had a, yeah. a plan at all. No, no. You know. Not a plan. No plan. Uh, once again, you guys are on the bench, on the bench podcast with Bubba and Pink, home of sports music and mayhem. 